Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this Sims 4 tutorial we are building a curvy bridge and we are starting with building a room. So I'm going to build a room just anywhere and then I'm picking a floor piece. I place my floor piece on top. You could also press G to activate the grid and then I click on the room. I press delete on my keyboard and now I I'm left with this floor piece and now when I'm clicking on this floor piece I have this arrow over here and now I can simply move this floor piece up and down and the reason why we do it this way is because when you would only place a floor piece like this and you use the arrow this happens we want to have a floating floor piece so this is why we doing it this way and now you can already select the height maybe you want to have a bridge like this you could also build a pool below or maybe you want to have a bridge like this so you can select your height now at this point before we start to work on the curvy shape but first we have to activate a couple of cheats. You have to activate the testing sheets true cheat and you also have to activate the move objects cheat and the debug cheats. This way we will be able to access the debug menu. We are going to use an eco lifestyle debug object but I'm also going to give you an alternative using a base game debug object so you don't need any packs to follow this tutorial. We now expand our floor piece a little bit like this, for example. So we have a little bit of space and we are going to work with this floor piece. So this is going to be where we will create the bridge. So the curvy bridge could be placed like this, for example. So now we have a bit of floor to work with. And now we want to access the debug menu. And for this, you click into the search bar and you type world and then you press enter and it should take you right to the debug menu. You can also click on this magnifying glass. This should also work. And now we're going to filter by pack. So I click on equalize style and when I go to the very bottom and then I scroll up a little bit, I will find this piece of wood and this is what we will use to create the bridge. You could also use this equalized style object for example. There's also a beautiful island living object that I've used in the past. I'm going to quickly find it. It's this one over here. You could also use this for example and for the base game version you can use this object here. You could use this object for example. So if you don't own any packs, you could always use this object or this object. There are multiple of those. So you have a great selection. So these would be the four main objects that I would recommend for this bridge. So I picked this equalized style object now and now we want to create the curvy shape there are a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. Some objects, even debug objects, will block your sims pass. So this object, for example, if I would place it just like this, this would block my sims pass so the bridge wouldn't be functional. And the same goes for this object here. And for this object, it shouldn't block your sims pass actually, but most objects do. So what you want to do is you place the object below your floor and then you press 9 to raise it. So Press control on your keyboard so the camera doesn't jump and then press 9 and this way you can raise it. And I'm going to press 9 until I found the correct spot, like just like this for example. And now this looks good. And now it won't block my sims pass even though it's placed on top of the floor because we simply raised it. The game doesn't detect it like this. It, the game thinks that it's still below the floor piece. So this makes the bridge fully functional luckily. To bring it into the correct position, you have to pan your camera a little bit. So always make sure to activate the Sims 3 camera. So I hold my mouse wheel and this way I can pan the camera. And when I place it like this, so when you now look on my mouse cursor, the cursor does not come near the floor piece basically. In this way I can place it below. But if I would do it like this, you can see that because we raised it, the floor piece is now floating. So always pan your camera so you can place your floor piece like this. 
So I've now placed a couple of those objects because you can copy debug objects. So when I'm working on something like this, I always like to place a couple of these objects so I can simply pick them. And now I'm placing the first one again. I'm pressing nine so I find the correct height and now I'm placing it like this. And now I'm picking the next one again. I'm pressing nine so I can raise it. And now I have to create the curve. And as I told you, you have to pan your camera so it doesn't float in the air. And now I'm holding Alt on my keyboard. I hold my left mouse button and now I ever so slightly move my mouse from the left to the right. You can see I'm holding Alt and my left mouse button. And all I'm doing right now is moving my mouse to the right to the left, to the right, to the left. And this way I can create this shape. And now I only want to rotate this object ever so slightly. And now I'm holding Alt. And this way I can place this object without it snapping to the grid. And I want to place it like this. And now I have to correct the position. And now it's perfect. I'm picking the next object. Again, I'm raising it. And now I'm doing the same. I'm holding Alt and my left mouse button so I can rotate this object. And now I'm placing one object after another to create my curve. I would recommend to not rotate each object too much so you have a nice smooth curve. Otherwise, you can see that there are just some edges. You can still see it when you like take a close look, but this way it looks like a nice proper curve. I'm placing the next object. And this takes a bit of practice to be, to just do it fast. At first it might take a while, but then after you've done this a couple of times, it's like super easy. And I've shown this method before. You can also create some, just some curvy flower beds, just all kinds of different things. And this method is really helpful. And at I think it only works with the Sims 3 camera to just rotate objects like this. So always make sure to activate it. You will need it either way to, to just pan the camera so smoothly. And now I want to rotate this a little bit more. And now I have this. I'm going to expand my floor piece a little bit because now I want to go into this direction. So I'm picking the next floor piece and now I'm going to rotate it facing into this direction so I can have this curve. I'm picking up the next object. And again, I'm rotating it just a bit more so I have this curve and you can create whatever shapes you like with this. There are no rules, but of course it's nice to have this kind of shape. So I just think it's beautiful to have this kind of curvy bridge. You could build a pool below, no fountain though. You can't build fountains below anything. So always make sure to use a pool for this and not a fountain. And I'm going to add another piece and then we are going to remove the floor around it. So it actually looks like a bridge. So now I'm using the custom room tool. And now when I press control, I can delete floors. As you can see, you can see the X popping up. So this way you can delete a floor. At first, I'm going to remove bigger pieces. And then we are going to remove the floor pieces directly next to the bridge. So now I'm going to remove this. So I am only left with this wood piece. So now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. When you work on it like this, you can now, now see before I let go and actually delete this floor piece, you can see that there is a green frame around your floor piece. And this way you can always make sure that there is still enough floor left in the center. So it's actually functional. So your sims don't need a lot of space to actually cross this bridge. So I have this area over here. I can go down and this 
like this it still works this is enough for your sims to use the bridge so you want to remove all the floor pieces right at the edge so they don't show so it looks good but you still have to make sure of course that there is enough left for your sims to use this bridge like this for example you can now again see the green line and this should totally work and this way you just remove more and more until you are only left with your beautiful bridge So now we are going to attach a floor piece. You could always attach some floor pieces to create a patio, for example, or something like this. I placed it down there. Of course, you <laughs> want to make sure to place it over here. Always press G to activate the grid. This way you can easily place your floor pieces. And now I'm adding another floor piece over here. And now I'm adding some stairs so we can ex actually check if this is functional or not. So now I'm going to send the sim up there and we will see what will happen. Hurry up. <laughs> and now we want the sim to walk over there. And as you can see, it works just fine. I'm going to move the camera down here so we can see what's going on. It looks funny <laughs> when you take a look at it, but you can see that everything is connected in case it's not connected. So you are done and you notice that it's not working. Then your best bet is using the flat triangle floor piece. So you could always edit like, like this, for example, we run running into any issues here but let's say we did so now i could just remove this piece for example and i could fill in this gap and this way you can fix your floor in case something is missing and this is always your best bet in a case like this and now we are going to talk about the base game alternative so if you don't own any packs you can do this with just base game i can recommend using the slate pavement tile this is what it's called you should also be able to enter this into the search bar once you've activated all your debug sheets so you could place it like this you could make it bigger and then you could just create a curvy shape just as i've shown you and as you will notice i'm not raising this object up i'm placing it directly on top of the floor and this shouldn't block your sims pass so i didn't raise it as i said there like for some debug object it works and for some it doesn't as you can see the sim is able to just walk over over this but now i'm placing this object directly on the floor and i tell my sim to walk over and it's not working and this is why we raised this object but for this base game object you don't have to do this if you are a beginner and if you don't feel confident in just raising up every single object this is also a much easier version of this method so you don't have to worry about raising it you can just focus on getting the rotation right so in this case i can also recommend this base game debug object and this is it if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i will get back to you and i will help you i hope that everything is clear and that your sims will enjoy all your curvy bridges i hope you have a perfect day and week and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye